Hello, beloved, and welcome to your message from God thyself, okay, the big G-O-D. Let us tap in and find out what is here for you. What is this message about? Why did you resonate with the title? Why were you lit here, and why were you presented with this message by your own YouTube algorithm, okay? Let us further tap in, beloved. Let's find out what you... Um, what you tap it into here, okay? So straight away, um, before we even, you know, before I even picked up the, these deck of cards, I was trying to figure out which which energy is calling me, you know, which which deck of cards to use, and I was guided to use these. But prior to that, I had to um, and analyze. I had to kind of analyze all all the deck of cards and pick from from all that are here, right? I feel like that is in reference to this message and in, in, on its own. It's, 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 it's similar to the situation of the scenario of this energy, this pick me energy, pick me energy, right? Let's see what that's about. So I feel like you're surrounded by a lot of pick me energies, a lot of pick me masculine energies, pick me feminine energies, yeah, two of swords, definitely. Seven of Swords, we have Gemini, Libra, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and we have Pisces. Energies presented here by the cards, right? So God is saying, God is talking through these cards, saying, um, and, and showing here, showing me that you are surrounded by a bunch of people that are hungry, you know, power hungry, money hungry, spiritually hungry, you know, psychologically unfit unstable people like i feel like you've just been surrounded by a lot of low vibrational masculines low vibrational feminines that are threatened by your stance your stance being your ability to stand in your own power in your own graciousness like they're faced by that like they're faced by your ability to remain authentic you know and not feel the need to need any validation from them or from anyone for that matter i feel like that pisses a lot of these low vibrational feminines and masculines you know, off here i feel like you know these people it's either you know of them you know them you know very well who these low vibrational energies are and i feel like your high vibrational energy causes these people to feel insecure about themselves as if they're not doing enough but that's not your problem. I mean, what the hell? I feel like these are people that want you to feel bad about who you are because you shine too brightly or you different or you are uniquely based in your way of being and your identity. They want you to feel bad about that as if like you, you, you are not allowed to be an individual or your individuality is wrong. There's no form of individualism when it comes to this feminine, these feminines and low, uh, masculines here that are very low vibrational here. Depending on the narrative of your life, it's either you're dealing with, you know, these toxic low vibrational feminine, toxic low vibrational masculine energies that are filled with envy and jealousy towards you, you know, towards your grace, towards your poise, to, towards who you are in life and towards your identity, you know. So with that being said, I feel that they want to, it's like these are energies, these be the type of people that they see a motherfucker shining so bright, right? And it phases them, the fact that that person does not, like, it, that person is not like them. Like, it's like these people are phased that, like, you are your own person. Like, you don't seek to be like them. You don't have their way of being you're not like anyone you, you don't you don't you don't vibrate or tap into anyone else's energy apart from yourself within yourself right it's like you're not controlled by any spirits you're not controlled by any 
anyone's influence upon you, anyone's power upon your life. I feel like it's you and God, okay? Whether you know this or not, it's like, it's just you and God. But I feel like these are people that feel like you should need their validation or because you don't need their validation, you think you're better than them, okay? It's like these are, I feel, these are people that cannot take the fact that you shine as brightly as you do. Like, why do you, why are you like this? It's like these are people that just are questioning your entire identity. Your existence is like a plague and question mark that needs an explanation that they're not getting any answers to. Like, they're, they're, they have unanswered questions. They don't know you, but you're mysterious. You know, you move like a sneaky ass tree. Tri trickster of a person of a motherfucker here they feel like they constantly lose you when they think they got you figured out you know what i'm saying and that drives these motherfuckers wild because they feel like they don't know you <clears throat> the way they want to they don't have you the way they want you and it's it's like who are who are these people to want any control over you like the fuck okay god right okay god clearly these people are god right Shit. i just feel like these are people that are used to a certain breed of people and i feel like you are elite you are an elite breed so you stand out amongst all other breeds because you vibrate on an elite status of of a breed here you are outstanding right it's like a, uh, the type of person that makes you it's like you you are the type of person that makes people feel insecure about themselves like their life like Shit, maybe I'm not doing enough. Maybe like maybe I should do this. Maybe this maybe you know, maybe if I do this also it'll work for me. But it's all like comparisons to you. These are people that compare themselves to you. That's the problem. But they know damn well they don't measure up and they hate that fact about you. Like, why are you so different? Why are you so unique? How crazy it is that the energy of being the outcast is now backfiring into the energy of being the, the most needed, the most seen, the most influential, the most inspirational, or the one that is seen to be the most tapped in, or the tapped into the most high vibrational aspect of themselves, right? That's where your energy has, has that's how your energy has transformed. And at this time, a lot of people are receiving your transformation. And this is how it's affecting these people in particular. They're jealous, right? A lot of envy towards you because of how you handle yourself like these are people that like they wish they had that sort of way of being man like if they really could do what you do if they really could be like you if they really could share your identity your essence within themselves and be and embody it like they would like i feel like they would take the chance they would really jump bodies body jump here like if they could but because they don't have that ability, they don't have that power, they don't, they can't do none of that. It's all in their mind, it's all fantasies, fictitious, it's all unreal, like the fuck, how you wanna be someone else, right? But I feel like these are just people that have never seen or experienced your breed before. Like I said, like elite breed, an elite breed of people are the type of people you, you stumble upon once in a lifetime type energy. Those type of people that like are rare, like you know, like this person is rare, they different, they stand out differently, they're they're just different, right? And instead of these people being inspired, they're they're threatened. You know, they watch you with evil eye, evil intent, like, uh, oh, this person, uh oh. You know, they, they, they put in the work to study your codes, but they're unsuccessful in ever being close to anything like you. Like, I feel like your identity was cloned here. Like people attempted to clone your identity, but it was unsuccessful. These are people that like, they wish to have your essence. They wanna clone your energy. They, they wanna mimic it basically. They wanna embody it too. But nothing about unique energy or, or original blueprint energy can be embodied by anyone because it is what it is it's the blueprint it's, it, it is what it is and it can't be changed it can't be undone so i feel like you are who you are in your reality and you you 
there's just people that surround you in terms of just them looking into your life, looking at you, who you become, who you are, and they're just wishing that they had the same level of intellect, the same character, the same level of um, of being, the same higher level of consciousness, the same the same um, physique way of looking, like. These are just people that constantly compare themselves to you for no reason. Because they don't see, I feel like these are people that don't see anything good about themselves unless they compare themselves to you. Unless, unless they don't have any comparison to you, they don't feel good enough. They don't feel like, okay, they're good enough. Yeah, the will of, the will of fortune, the, the lovers, yeah, the three of cups. These are people that point things out, like, yeah, she's like this, and, like, do you see I got the same vibe too, or he embodies this, and can you see I vibrate on that too, like, people are trying to be like you, be on your vibration, or pretend that they have that sort of likeness as well, like, these are people that speak highly of themselves, but are nothing, nothing close to what they say here, it's all just show and tell, like, Word of mouth, nothing ever real comes out of that. Clearly, these are people that are lost in life, and because you're not, they hate you for it. Like, why don't you? Why aren't you a mess? Why? Why don't you feel lost? Why do you? Why do you have the answers? Why do you seem to have the, that knowing within yourself? Why do you have that confidence? How do you do what you do? Like. Instead of them wanting to find out in a good way and wanting to learn from you, these are people that would much rather um, hate on you instead. Jealousy, envy, you know, unnecessary here. Very low vibrational reading message, but it's, 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 it has to get out there. You need to know what surrounds you, what are the energies um, at this time. Um, you need to be aware, you know, you really do. It's not about nothing but that. Like awareness is everything. Perspective is everything you need to know, right? Let's let's tap further in to this message and see what awaits us, you know, when it comes to this energy. What are the layers of this, Father? What are the layers of this? So God is showing me um, a body, the, the word body and an actual body, right? A vessel, a body. God is saying that your vessel, your temple is your identity and you didn't choose to look the way you do. Therefore, how people respond to you is based on, you know, your lineage, your ancestry lineage, you know, the depth of your roots and how your characteristics, your way of being and the things you do. You aligned to within your life how they are linked to your ancestry lineage it's either you broke free from a karmic cycle right and now you are the black sheep you're living a life free from any customs that you were once attached to any religions anything that once kept you restricted any person any 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 uh, religion method anything any mindset any anything that caused restriction you free from it you're doing life at your own terms, right? And I feel like as you broke the comic cycle within yourself and continue to do so every day, like not being part of a generational curse, not being part of like um, the toxic cycle of life where you keep having to learn the same lessons because you're stuck in the toxicity of that same pattern, that same, that same loop. I feel like you are someone that works hard to break free from loops, illusions, right? Your higher level of consciousness is envy. Your ability to be who you are is desperately studied by a lot of these people. Like they wish to have and attain your same likeness. They, these are people that wish they could be you. These are people that envy your energy, but at the same time, they 
project negativity onto you because they want to make you feel bad about being who you are because they don't have that same courage. That's what I said, when if they could body jump, they could want to take on your identity because they would want your confidence, they would want your courage, they would want... Because these are people that lack motivation within themselves, they need encouragement from validation of others, things, substances, to make them feel good. They attach themselves to spirits, deities, or entities for power. You just are who you are. It's you and God. It's you yourself. You versus you. Me versus me. And these people hate the fact that, that you are in that sort of stance. You stand in that sort of power within yourself. You are not competing with anyone. You're in your own lane. You, you, you stay true to you. You don't really care what anyone else is up to. You don't really care what they do. These are people that want you to care. They wish that you care. They wish that they had that power over you. Yeah, they wish that they could compete. They wish that they could be of the same energy, likeness, or they could embody that same sort of godlike temple vessel that you embody. Like something about your identity, how you shine, how you are in the world, how you present yourself to others, how you're seen, how you're received. It's like it's coming from a very powerful place. It's coming from a place of power, magic. So like I feel like your energy puts people in a trance, you're able to transmute your energy and really, you know, you're able to really harness it in a powerful way and you're able to have things favorably, favorably go your way because of who you are. You can utilize your identity in a good way. You, you, are, you use the light energy to harness it. You are a light worker. And these people are dark spirited. All they know is to bring other people down, Ashe. All they know is to place lack upon other people's life because they don't want them to succeed they they want to project they want to see things onto your reality because that's what they want for them that's what they want for themselves clearly because that's the reality they're projecting onto another right and it does backfire that shit backfires anything wished upon anyone any ill will any bad thing any words anything that you send upon anyone, any negative energy, any devil energy that is sent upon any innocent soul will backfire and will perish upon the one that sends it. We have the number 19, the number 1, the number 9, the number 7, the number 6, the number 11, the number 4, double 6 here, actually triple 6. Okay, so we have 666, six, 6 of pentacles here, right? But yeah, we have the number 4. And eight, nine, double eight, right? Double nine, 19, 21, I think I said that, right? So those are the numbers I was called, I was guided to give, right? To highlight, to read. So beloved, this is to just say that like you are an alpha feminine, you are an alpha male, and there are a lot of beta, omega energies that wish to be on the same level. They, they're delusional to think that they can compete where they don't compare clearly. And now it's like, because of your uniqueness, your, your stance, how you hold your own power and stand in it, how you really don't compete with anyone and you live in your own life and you're in your own world, it intimidates these people. It makes them feel and think that, oh, you think you better, oh, you think you this, but nah, sweetie, you said that, not me, right? You feel that, not me. So don't project your shit on me. Instead, check yourself. Maybe I do inspire your ass. You're just afraid of that shit. Or you don't want to admit that to yourself because you're too much of a bitter bitch to ever take accountability of someone being bitter than you. Right? That's the energy here. People don't want to humble themselves. There are a lot of fake deities here that are just betas and omegas, lost souls, empty vessels. They don't know shit. They think they do. It's like do something for long enough, you think you know it. You think you really know it. And it's it's either there's two realities. It's either you do know it or you don't. And the truth will always prevail. The real one will remain standing in the end. And the alpha male, the alpha feminine always remains standing. Always rise, rises up like the phoenix from the ashes. They're always the ones that like, they, 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 they remain whole in all things that try to break them apart break them within themselves and it's like these are the type of these be the type of people that envy that in a person because they know they don't possess those same qualities so beloved clearly these are people that are envious of what you have because they lack that they lack that character development 
They don't have that within themselves. They lack that character development, man. They're weak-minded, weak-spirited, heavy on that, heavy on weak-minded, heavy on weak-spirited, and heavy on dark souls as well, lost souls, you know, that channel negativity. Hence, they're projecting it so well onto you. You might really be feeling this, you might be aware, you might be conscious because you tap in, you really know what's up. And this is to just confirm a lot, a lot of what you already know to be true. You are envied because you, you are the one that does it differently. You, you are the change, you are the blueprint, you are the answer. You stand out the most, you are the black sheep. You know, the black sheep is the one that does things that a lot of people don't want to do because of what it would come with. So a lot of people are just comfortable doing things because that's what works best. But when you really are authentic within self, when you really the original, the blueprint, you kind of have to be the Jesus. You have to be the sacrificial lamb. It has to fall on you, that burden, that cross, so that other people can see the example. So like, it's okay to be the fool. It's okay for people to laugh. In the beginning, it, it, it was okay. It's, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay for things to, to, to be in a way that like, you seem alone, you seem isolated, it's okay, because that's when God is building a beast in you. That's when God is building that beast within you, and it's going to come out, and it's going to unleash, and you're gonna have a beast here, your book of beasts within, that you channel, because you're gonna be heavy on that alpha feminine energy, heavy on that alpha masculine energy. So whatever they fiffing and faffing about right now, whatever energies are being thrown at you, Whatever they're channeling towards you, whatever they're saying, whatever they're doing, beloved, behind your back, in front of your face, whatever it is, understand that it, it is only going to backfire on these people, okay? It is only going to go back to them. It is only going to affect their, their life, right? It has nothing to do with you. You are just going to be the continuous vessel, the continuous testimony that, you know, nothing comes from being... A bad person everything comes from being a good person you know you're going to be the the, the 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 villain in everyone's story for now but in the end you're going to be the hero because they're going to see the truth whether they they don't want to whether they fight it whether they're afraid of it whether they fear you intimidated by you they throw in this at you projecting this wanting to control this wanting to have this wanting to do this like yo None of that shit will work. When God, because trust, when God says this is it, when God calls upon someone to take their throne in life, when when God embeds someone's name to be what it is in life, no one can screw up their identity. No one can taint it and no one can belittle it or do anything to destroy it. I feel like God is about to prove a lot of people wrong through you, beloved. Keep putting in the work. Keep putting your head down, dedicating yourself. You know what I'm saying? Doing the right thing, channeling the right energy, being in the right state of being, being attracted to the right frequencies, the right things, listening to good music, doing good things that bring you joy. Keep channeling that sort of energy and it will get you far because you'll begin to vibrate on it. You'll begin to be one with it and negativity will be no more because you've deflected it. It's not, it's not a part of your reality, right? That's how it goes. So the longer you resist something, is the more it becomes less of a threat in your life. Like keep fighting off these unwanted spirits. Keep channeling that strength of your ancestors that they blessed you with because you have it. And every time you lay in, in your bed at night and rest, you get healed in your dream state. Always know that. You feel anxious, take a nap. You feel nervous, take a nap. You feel threatened, intimidated, fearful, take a nap. You feel tired, take a nap, right? And you wake up in a different vibration because your ancestors work on you in your state of being when you're asleep. We have the number 13 and 7. Zero, the number zero could be significant here, all right? Continue to be the good person that you are. Continue to play God's fool. For, this, for these people, continue to be the sacrificial lamb, continue to be the one that does it differently, the one that chooses to stand out even when, uh, like, take the courage to be that example and be that change. They'll have no 
choice but to respect you in the end because you are the one that actually did all that they were afraid to do right all that they 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 thought that couldn't be done or they they thought you wouldn't you wouldn't be capable of doing or you wouldn't it's just far fetched like you really think that's like you really think you know, all all that they had been saying beloved god is going to prove them wrong through you so your faith your determination and your devotion and your dedication in this life thing and in the good thing in, in the good things of life and being a good person that's what's going to get you to the final destination here keep vibrating on that don't allow these low vibrational people to throw you off because that's what they want to do they're just sending that negative energy to throw you off and the minute you feel thrown off is when they win so take your power back by even understanding that the fact that you are feeling their energy being sent to you means that you're a powerful high priestess high high higher font energy that is truly tapped in and is guided how are you able to feel all of that shit how are you still standing with all of that shit being sent your way these unwanted spirits trying to have your life trying to control your life your mind your spirit your soul right your heart come on like none of these projections ever worked none of these energies that were sent your way ever worked none of these devil entities that these deities these power tricks tools that strategies that were worked upon here and, and utilized as weapons against you like none of that shit ever worked man and god is continuously proving to you how protected you are by protecting you from all of this like saving you from all of this delivering you from all of this and keeping you at the position that you are and, and on an even better one soon right soon to be so you continuing and doing what you're doing you're not a fool you believe in you be having faith in a world of the faithless you ain't no fool you just found and you were looking at everyone else as the sheep that they are they're lost man can't you see these people are injured mentally injured can't you see these people are, are like psychologically wounded here unstable spiritually and fit not in alignment at all can you see that they're lost a little bit like i'm sure you do you know what i'm saying but that has nothing to do with your destiny of like life here it's like you're not in charge of anyone outside of who god's put outside of who god places upon your path of life like Whoever tries to make you feel like you, you you owe them some form of saving closure or you owe them whatever they feel like you owe them. Understand that you are not meant to succumb to anyone's demons, anyone's projections. Like these are just people who are lost in life and they see that you aren't, right? So they're jealous of that they're jealous that you're not you're not trying to be like them. you're not trying to be like everyone else you're not trying to ride that that cocktail ride that wave or you're not trying to be on that they they they're taking that as a form of you saying like you're better than them and that's none of your business you know like that is nothing to do with you like whether you feel like that's what i'm trying to be on or not like <clears throat> yo that's all you we have the number 10 here Yeah, I feel like the more you stand in your power, the more you breathe in and out and have the stance to not be moved or phased by any of these energies, that's when you deflect them and you become more powerful. You understand how this goes? Keep responding in high vibrational ways upon these people and you will forever be risen up, right, <clears throat> in their eyes. They'll, forever, they'll get smaller, like they'll get smaller, whether it's through what their problems that they're trying to send your way, their projections, their energies, their, whatever they're trying to do, it'll get smaller, like it, it, will, it, will mean, it will mean little to nothing, because you keep standing up to the energy, that's how it goes, that's the life, that's the game of life, folks, like the same for the week, right? So you need to learn how to stand up against these energies by taking control of, of them in a way that you deflect them by not succumbing to them. You know an energy wants you to do something. You know a spirit was sent your way because you are channeling what it wants of you. It's like someone sending the spirit of sex to someone. Like an example, an analogy, a reference point, a case study would be 
someone sending a six spells, a, ma a six magic uh, spell to someone, to someone's home, right? And wanting that person that whenever they're in their home, like they often just want to touch themselves or masturbate to, to them, right? That's why they send a the spell. Like, let's say that it, it God allows it and permits it to work in the home of that person. And that person gets tempted, like, am I going to fall for this? Am I not? Right? They know that, they, they feel that they want to masturbate to someone's picture, but like, they don't even know why they feel the way they do. So, are you going to succumb to that spirit, that spirit that was sent your way, that unwanted entity? Or are you going to rise above it? You know, by fighting it. Like, that's how it goes. You got to deflect it. You have to, you have to not want it. You have to be high vibrational to not want it. That's why this game is too cold. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, those that are low vibrational, they're only going to win for a matter of time. Like, yo, everything has a time span. Can't you see we got 24 hours in a day? TikTok, bitches, man, we hear on, we hear on some abracadabra shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, take control of your life right now by understanding your power. That these people, it's only a matter of time before they see the truth prevail. The same truth they've been trying to run away from, or the same truth they've been trying to um, change into something else. These people that live lies, wear masks, right? These toxic feminines, toxic masculine energies that are so jealous of who you are, you know, of whoever you are, they 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 jealous of your identity because they they out of touch with themselves. You seem to be in alignment, and that bothers them. Like, why are you, the, why are you the empress? Why are you the emperor? You know, why you? It's like these people are jealous not only of your position, but it's you. Like, why you? Like, but I feel like they've they've yet to really like see what God is about to do here. Because I feel like whatever they bothered by right now is very, very minuscule, very small compared to what God is about to do with your life in front of these motherfuckers. They still have yet to see, man. God is saying there's so much more. There's so many layers, okay? Round three. There's so many layers to this and only time will tell. You just need to work with time and understand the magic of time. Like literally, keep planting the right seeds, putting out the quality work, right? Type energy. It's like someone putting out quality work and expecting nothing but quality outcome, right? That's an example, an analogy, a reference point of case study, like putting on quality work, maybe it's not earning you what you need right now, or it's not where you need it to be, or it's not being, it's not getting the recognition or, you know, it's, <clears throat> that's just an example. Are you going to choose to stop because of that? Taking away the fact that the work is for quality, the work is special, the work needs to be seen. It's just the time for it is not here yet. You understand? So everything has a role. Everything has a time span on it. And once your time, you, your turn is here, you gotta go crazy with it because you know you waited. You were patient enough to wait your turn. You are not like these people where they, they they see you shining, they see your light, and they want it for themselves, or they jealous of it, or they want to dim your light. Like you instead wish good upon other people. You wish they could shine even brighter. That's what makes you a leader. That's what makes you different. And that was that's what makes you an elite breed. We don't have those negative emotions. And you know, like in this filthy world that we live in, it's it's rare to not live in that vibration of negativity. You are a rare breed. Elite breeds are rare. You know what I'm saying? And you're the type of motherfucker that tweak people out and trip them out because of that. Like of your your level of being rare. You're, you're very special. They don't understand you, they can't explain you, and all they do is complain or throw negative energy, project, or try to control your life, or do this, do that behind the scenes. None of that shit gonna work, because you have a destiny, you have a mission upon your life, man. These people, man, man, they're just people. They literally just regular ass people in life, lost as hell, fighting their own battles and demons, and having their own um, cross to bear. They burden you, they burden some with their own shit. You here, you destined for a different path of life. You destined to live a different reality. You've been through your fair share of the dark night of the soul. You know what I'm saying? You don't put no nothing on no one. Have you ever blamed anyone for, for, for where you were? 
you ended up, it's like you knew that, you know what, you had to get yourself out of that position. You knew that you had to heal. You had to evolve. You had to tap out of that and tap into something else and evolve. And you did that. You keep doing that every day. These people just lack strength. They don't have that within themselves and that is on them. You are destined to be greater. It is not about them. It's about you. Your life has nothing to do with people around you except you first. Then the tribe, then the journey, but it's you, it's self first. It's the vessel, it's you, your identity, who are you? God is saying these people are tests, trial runs, just implants that he placed to just play his game for a little bit. And while his addicts show you how great you are through you them, they will to destroy you, should show you like, oh, these motherfuckers standing against one motherfucker, like one person, me? Shit, I must be big news. And even if I ain't see, see it the way I want it, or it's not, it's not yet here, it's not reaping it the way I, I, I'm sowing it, but when I keep sowing, it's gonna reap. The more I keep sowing, the more I reap, keep sowing. Keep planting the right seed, you're gonna reap that shit. And right in front of these motherfuckers, you're gonna have a feast. Eat whatever you want. You're gonna have a, a, a grand plate. In front of your enemies, you are part of the grand design. That's why. You are part of the grand design of life. The bigger picture of all of this. That's why you hear, that's why you understand what I'm saying, that's why you can read the codes of prophetic vessel, that's why you understand the code odds of the cause of prophetic vessel, that's why you are in alignment with God, that's why you are high vibrational, that, that's what makes you an elite, an elite breed. That's why you were able to remain unscathed through all the obstacles and the treacherous things that could have come to pass in your reality. You were not destined or fated to go through none of that shit. You were meant to be the example that the elite exists we exist, the protected ones, real chosen ones, real ones that walk with the light. Let's continue here, all right? God is saying, with time, you will see the truth of the world. It'll make sense. If you see the truth now, there's gonna be layers of truth that will be revealed with time. Like there's so much more that's gonna happen with time. Just keep waking up every day, keep going. Exactly, the wheel of fortune is a representation of time. Time, beloved, time. Give it time. Like, don't worry about nothing, give it time. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time, one thing at a time, do it one at a time. Like. Time, okay? God is saying it will work in your favor. It is aligned to because you are in your north node. You're in your destiny. You are, you're not in your south node. You're not in your, de your, your, your uh, detriment. You're right where you need to be, simply put. So time is meant to work in your favor because of that. You just need to stay right where you at. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep tapping in. Keep helping other people. Keep speaking your truth. Keep being of light. Keep vibrating on that by high vibrational state of being, keep being elite, right? Even if it makes you be the one that takes on the slaughter, but it's it, it, that's what comes with being the example, the martyr, right? The sacrifice here, the, the blueprint, the answer, like you don't earn that rank. Out of, like you gotta go through that shit. You gotta be, you gotta start there. You gotta walk that journey. You gotta be that. You gotta work walk the journey to be of it. We have the higher form, the temperance, and the empress. Big, big shit here. Like big rank shit. Like big spiritual rank shit happening here. Like you ain't no like you are part of God needs you. You know what I'm saying you are needed in this grand design of life. You are a necessity. Like I know why I do what I do. I'm needed. I'm needed in this shit. Y'all need me. Everyone needs me in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I say that with the utmost sincerity. This game is too cold. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do this as much as I'm needed. Yeah, I'm not here to be wanted, liked, loved, embraced. None of that. 
I'm here because I'm needed. I'm just fulfilling my purpose. I'm serving you. I'm living a really luxurious life. I'm good, but I'm blessed enough to know that this didn't come out of my ass, right? I know where I came from. I know what I survived. And I know the stamp, the mark of the, of the beast I walk in. And I'm here to speak it so that the fire burns through everyone else who's, who's been scathed by the same scar. And that wound will heal and it will become the power as it is of mine because I'm living it. I, I'm good, man. Don't take my views or my, my subscribers, my, my comments thinking that's my money. Like, yo, I'm big. Me, I'm good. I do this because I love to and I'm here to serve. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need this. Y'all need me. That's the energy also of you, beloved, in your reality, you are needed, right? It shouldn't be about the praise. It shouldn't be about what you get out of it. It shouldn't be about anything outside of the cause. What is the cause? The agenda, God, right? Trying to spread that word, trying to spread that light, trying to be of it as well. So that it, it, it you, you, are try, you are here to raise the vibration, beloved, right? Let's go. I think it's round four. Right? Or three, correct me. We have the justice, exactly. Beloved, justice here. I mean, that's that says it, right? What is justice? You know, what is justice? What? Why did God, you know, create that, that system? What is, what is justice? It's like justice is the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So the right thing here, beloved, right? It always gets you where you need to be. The right thing is always the cause. It's always the way. It's always the right thing. It's always been the right thing. Like the right thing to do is the, it's, it has always been the answer. You didn't know that it's the answer when you were just being doing the right thing, being a good person. You were just being, which you passed the test of time. You know, you show God that you are truly an elite breed. You are that for real. You're not faking it. It's not manufactured. It's not pretentious. It's not from trauma based. It's not a character mask, false mask that you put on. You are really that. You are a good person. You do the right things. In a world where a lot of people struggle with that, in a way that like we live in a world filled with manipulation, you know, a world where we are manipulated from all angles. Like you go to this person, they will manipulate you. you go to that person, they will manipulate you. They, it's like we live in a world right now. God is saying the world is like you need to understand that no one can be trusted at this time. No one can be trusted at this time, beloved. You cannot trust anyone at this time. That will fuck you up, right? Those that are cold to you, those that are one with you and will join your soul tribe, those are the ones you are meant to trust. Those are the ones that are already in your energy. No new person, no past person, no past this or past that can ever be good for you again, beloved. It's like God is saying, don't trust no one that you cut off. Don't trust no one that is all of a sudden acting different, trying to come around, being a certain way. Trust your gut at this time. Trust your intuition. Allow yourself to be led at this time. Because it's like right now, there's a pandemic that is festering here of the ill-minded. You know, the mentally ill are winning within this life. And, you know, your sanity is your savior at this time. Don't fall, don't trust nothing no one says. Don't trust no illusion. Like, anything that kind of feels like, nah, man. This just, I don't know. Drop it like it's hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even, don't even question it. Unfortunately, your ancestors cannot reveal themselves to you at this time and, and tell you all the answers. Or God cannot show up and say, this is how you do this. We need to live it. We need to experience it. This is what life is about. And the signs are there to guide us. People that are sent our way, that are good, are meant to show us a, 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 good, a good way, the way, the direction, the path. 
And those that aren't are meant to lead us in the direction that we're not meant to be in. And God at this time is saying a lot of people are lost. That's why a lot of people cannot be trusted. They're lost. You can't trust a lost person. They don't know anything. They're lost. You can't resonate with a lost person. You can't understand a lost person's perspective. Like, they're lost. All you know is that they're lost. The burden shouldn't fall on you that they're lost. You should rather seek a form of understanding of a higher level of consciousness for yourself and pray for them as well, that they find it in their life. Because you can't spoon feed anyone a higher level of consciousness. You can't spoon feed anyone faith in God or in this thing of life that has everything to do with God. Like, you can't spoon feed any God, like, God wants me to say this, right? God says, like, a lot of people bl are blasphemous, right, to him. A lot of people say a lot of things. A lot of people say God ain't real, God is pussy, God is this. Oh, oh yeah, the holy, oh God, like, it's like none of this shit is real to anyone until it, it becomes real, real shit, like real life shit hits. That's when you remember to, oh, holy Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh father. When things be, become too real, that's when you think of God. But when it's all fun and games, when when you feel like you're in control, when things are not, it's like, it just takes something crazy happening in this world for y'all to just realize that maybe, no one, all I'm saying is this, you are serving a role, you're serving a purpose, you're not lost, you're right where you need to be. Everything that's happening in your life is in perfect precision. Like, whatever the numbers are, whether it's financially in a form of abundance, whatever the physical matter is, whatever you have that you can touch, see, you know, that you feel is of lack, whatever, whatever state of being you're in that you feel like is you, you stuck or you're not meant to be in this state or you worry, you, you you have some form of trauma, you, you're projecting some form of fear-based analogy or thoughts, like, God is saying there's absolute precision in the timing of your life, like, you are right, you are, you are perfectly fine where you are, everything is going perfectly the way it needs to, everything is perfectly fine, like, it's all his plan, just give it to God, literally, God is saying, when you go to bed tonight, Go to your room, turn off the lights, go to the corner and say a prayer, right? And say to God, you know, I give it to you. Every night, just say that. Like, I give it to you. I give it to you, Father. I give it to you, God. And believe in, in, in what you're actually saying when you say that. And actually surrender. Don't, don't think about doing anything to have control over the situation. Let it go. That's the surrender. That's the true test of man. Every human being. And that comes with spiritual ranks. Some people never experience God. They don't know God. Because like, they've never surrendered. They always find themselves seeking that control back. Thinking they have it. Thinking they're God. Because they God complex. Because they're lost. Right? But God is saying. Um, nothing about you is out of. Like you are like. Perfect. Like. Everything is perfectly the way it needs to be at this time. Like, just keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? There's a destination. There's a journey. And you're just going through the process right now. Don't forget the process. Don't forget the process. It's the process, beloved. Don't hate the process. Fall in love with the process because the process is what makes you, shapes you, builds you, develops you. Your character, your way of being, your mind, your heart. It's, the process is everything. So your daily life experiences, cherish it. Even down to the downfalls of the things that don't work out in your favor. Down to the things that don't make sense. Things that seem out of alignment. Things that seem like they're not going in the way that you think they should. Like Embrace those things because those are the moments where you need to call upon God. And those are the moments that you can experience God. By trusting that a God will do it. Like, I start over all the time in my life. You know, I start over with, I don't, I think Prophetic Vessel has had many evolutions, like, 
way way back many like years back like I, I keep I just keep starting over you know what I'm saying I just keep doing it again and doing it again and until God says this is the perfected method the perfected way the perfected craft the perfected vessel I'll just keep I move at his pace I'm not moving at your pace I'm moving at what God is telling me to do and I'm moving through my intuition for that's how he speaks to me I'm guided I feel I'm in alignment whether or not the world is receptive of that within me I have that because I've given it to God already when you communicate it and give it to God that's where it goes and if you really surrender it that's how it's going to return you're going to be you're going to that's what they say, Malam. You'll be just fine. You get out of that circumstance, and when you're in a new circumstance, you'll be like, shit, I don't even remember that. That old dump I was in, or that old state of being, or that that old paradigm, that old reality, man. Did that really happen? Shit, like you remember when I was like oh traumatized? Like God wants you to have those sort of conversations, beloved. And your time for that is coming, your time for your redemption. For your true deliverance and for the truth of your life the voice of the voiceless the pariah the outcast the one that was always seen but never understood your life was just too bright god is going to enable the grand design of life to align in your favor so people get the fucking picture and there is no assumptions you get it they all gonna get it it's all gonna make sense even to you give it time don't ever stop believing. Don't ever stop having faith. Don't ever stop moving. Don't ever stop. Keep going. Move with the clock. Move with the wind. Move with the current of the frequency. Keep tapping in, beloved. Okay? Keep tapping in. Keep coming back to me. Right? I'm here to help, man. Literally, that's all I'm here to do. That's all I want to do. That's all I wish I could do. That's my dream. I just want to help. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you come from the other world, being placed in, 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 in the light world, like, you know, when you, like, you know, you pick up a few things and you're like, man, maybe, like, I don't want to just be saved. I, I want to also save, Father. Like, don't just heal me. Like, can I heal too? You know, I asked for it and here I am. And I'm just serving. You know, I asked to be here. I asked to be of light. I didn't know it would be in this form. I didn't know. I really didn't know I would be a t I didn't know anything, man. Like, I just allowed it to be what it was meant to be for me. And I just kept surrendering to the situations. No matter what I felt or whatever this was, I just kept surrendering to the situation and surrendering until God revealed himself, showed himself time and time again. Until I didn't even have to worry. Until I would just expect it. Like, ah, oh, you gonna shoot. I know. Man, I'm chilling. Man, I'm good. It's lifestyle. I'm chilling all the time now. You know what I'm saying? So let it get to that point for you. Keep trusting until it becomes lifestyle. Keep surrendering until it becomes your lifestyle. Okay? I'm being called to end it here. I love you, beloved. I really value and appreciate your time. If you're keen or interested in booking me, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions and readings, right? I offer dream interpretations, spiritual path readings, messages from God, and love messages. I mean, love readings. Um... My one-on-one -on -one sessions are via Zoom call, FaceTime, and WhatsApp video call. I'm sending you nothing but love. Until next time, beloved, I really hope this helped you and brought you some form of closure and spiritual insight and brought you, felt, made you feel more connected to God, okay? In Jesus' name, I release all your spirits. Amen.